There is a backrooms level deep inside the complex that could only be accessed by waking up. So that's what you gotta do. The level is level 318 from the fandom, or Wake Up, as it's been nicknamed. If you like derealization, liminal expanses of fake looking houses, and strange, horrific creatures, then you're gonna like this one. Without further ado, let's get to the explanation and let's see what happens when you wake up inside of the back rooms. It's not good. Don't get your hopes up. Backrooms level 318 from the fandom is classified as a class question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark difficulty and is very mysterious and very obscure. That is the only backrooms level with that classification, by the way, so you know you're in for a doozy. The classification graphic says that you're safe now and everything is okay and it's just you. So obviously, some kind of thing or creature or entity is trying to create this level and run it. The level physically takes the appearance of a derealized looking sprawl of houses. The houses are colorful, but lifeless, and they seem to resemble those houses from I Spy books and those old weird claymation style movies, and some of them even have like a Mr. Rogers vibe to them. But overall, the level seems very fake, almost animated in a way. A soft song plays the entire time you're here, and it's almost like a carnival sound. And the danger of the level tends to get worse and worse and worse the deeper you get into it. When you get sent here originally, you'll get this overwhelming calming sensation that just makes you feel at home, almost like you've been here or that you remember you being here. And this calming sensation will just get more and more pronounced the longer you're here to where eventually you walk so deep and you're so comfortable that you just fade into the level. More on that later though. The actual houses that are here can be fully explored on the inside and the outside. And inside of them, you'll find some pretty unnerving stuff. Mainly, each house is empty, like completely barren of any resources, any furniture, any dust. It, it just seems like no one's ever lived here. It's empty 100%. There is no dust, no trash, no sign of human existence. And most of them are completely abandoned like this. Except for some houses have staircases and fireplaces and that kind of thing. But in general, these houses are safe to stay in, but staying on this level as a whole is not safe. And you'll see why in a second. Just make sure you don't get stuck here for too long and you'll be all right. The paths that connect the houses and the roads in front of the houses are all made out of a weird concrete gravel type mixture. And all the houses and roads are placed on an expanse of grassy hills. The grass itself is fake like plastic and it seems like it's literally just ripped from an I Spy book. It's very similar to level 94, but with a much different layout because the houses here are more neighborhood like and, and not really dotted randomly like level 94. The level document is written from the perspective of some kind of entity or creature or something. Quote, it's time to wake up. This isn't the reality you're familiar with. That reality is fake. It's time to embrace the real world. End quote. That's a sentence that's right in the middle of this article. So as you can tell, this level is some kind of trap that you as a wanderer perceive to be real and not dangerous, but it is. While you're journeying through this level, you'll believe that the surroundings here are real life. You'll think it's 100% reality. It'll seem more and more so the deeper you walk. And just like the level name says, you will need to wake up in order to realize that it is a trap. The third paragraph of this level entry says, quote, Now that you're here, I suppose I should show you what's new. Everything is simply beautiful. You can fly, teleport, do anything you ever wanted to. Don't worry, there's no fake ending to be found this time." End quote. Yeah, it's totally not creepy or unnerving or anything like that. Not at all. The level is also thought to be infinite since the edges of it have not been found yet, but the deeper you get inside of it, the more fake it'll actually look, but you'll be under the level spell and trance, so you won't be able to tell it. At the start of the level where you begin, the houses look like they're from real life, but eventually they'll get to where they look completely fake, like a small display someone made for a project at school, but you will still think they're real. As I said earlier, the level plays a soft, cartoony sound through the whole thing, which this might be the source of the trance, 
We're not really sure. We're also not sure where the sound comes from, if it's speakers or if it's just the atmosphere. So here we have a whole level that looks like an uncanny, I spy, Dr. Seuss background with strange effects that make you think you're safe at home. But who or what is literally controlling it? Who is riding this? Who is making the level go around? What is it? Well, in the entity section in this article, we might get some insight on that. The page says, quote, You want to know more about me? Well, I suppose you deserve to know. Hello, Gary. I'm what they call the Awakened. I will. <laughs> I made this perfect reality. I don't really have an awesome looking true form. I'm just this human, this guy in a brown jacket. And I'm always smiling. You'll never be fully dressed without one, you know. That's the only feature that really stands out about my body, though. I don't have eyes, just a smile. The rest is just a shadow, although I can see." End quote. So from that entity's disturbing self-description, we can pretty much deduce that it takes the appearance of some kind of vague humanoid shape with a jacket and pants. And the most noticeable feature of this entity is its massive smile carved into its face. Because besides that, it's not got any eyes or shape, and then it finishes itself by saying the rest of its body is shadow. So we can assume the creature is a physical form that takes the appearance of a shadow with a smile that kind of looks human, and that's all we know. It would probably look something like what a smiler with a body would look like. It's terrifying to think that that creature controls and traps people here. The end of the page has a hidden link that takes you to one more sentence. Quote, it doesn't matter anymore. There is no end to this nightmare. There is no home. There is no true ending. That's how it's always going to be if things keep going at this rate. And I know for a fact that things will keep going on like this. Go. Just go. Leave. You don't deserve a good ending if you can't make one yourself. I guess it's safe to say that you've overstayed your welcome. Goodbye, Gary. Never come back. End quote. So yeah. It sounds like this entity is uh, kind of sad, to be honest. Maybe he doesn't want Gary to leave. Maybe bro just needs to take a chill pill. To enter the level, you have to wake up. And to exit, there aren't any. I don't know what else to say, There's, you have to stay here. It's unknown what both of those mean, what wake up and stay here mean, but we can assume that it's really hard to enter and the exit is also really hard to attain. So for the time being, it seems as if you're gonna be forced to explore this uncanny expanse of hills, houses, empty streets, and loneliness while being talked to by a shadow thing with a smile on his face. Cool. Personally, I love this level and I think it's really good. I think it's Agent Anonymous's best work I've read. I've read a ton of their levels and I've gone over them and I 100% recommend checking the article below, reading it for yourself. This level actually is very, very well done and I think it speaks a lot to the community of the back rooms where sometimes levels are made, you know, too kid friendly when in reality the back rooms is a living hellscape. It's, it's not kid friendly, it's not safe, it's scary. And I think this level does a good job of expressing that in a cool, horrifying, liminal way. You know, the house is here, the fake ambience, it's all perfect. Hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. That's it from your boy. Thank you so much for watching till the end. You're so real for doing that. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your continued support of me exploring my hyperfixation that is the back rooms. I never thought anyone would actually watch this stuff, but, but I have literally the best viewers. Thank you so much. Y'all are so cool. Thanks for all you do. Check the links below if you want to. You can check out my second and third channel, my Twitter, Instagram. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's just down there. Also, get ready for Brugmas. That is coming this December. Hope y'all are ready. And with all that yapping out of the way, I'll see you in the next video.